Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to Simbo Zero. Welcome back to another Pro 1v1 match. Today, we're on a map called Liquid Gold. I haven't seen this one for a while, actually. Very, very decent map. We've got Jillian Mirror on our hands up in the top. We've got Expert Player, Jillian Demolition in the red. This is Boyka. All the way down in the south facing him today with the Cyan. Also Jillian Demolition, so Demo Mirror. This is Marika. This replay is probably from 2023. I'm basically going through my folders of replays that I didn't cast in 2023. So probably around 12 months old, maybe six months, something like that. Uh, Marikar, a big fan of his maps with a lot of oils. I was only discussing this map recently with Marikar actually about how the top spot usually wins because it gets advantage in terms of getting his workers into a better position to get these. However... Uh, Boyka's done a little bit of a later tunnel there. Actually, it's not later, is it? He still might actually get inside of that bunker, but Marikar's bringing a TNT. Looks like a demo trap is going to get up. It is going to detonate. Kills the worker, sends it into the uh, stratosphere. And um, Boyka is going to secure these buildings. Yeah, Boyka does not win this one, though, but he can uh, do a toxin tractor on that. And it probably will get to that point. We've got a TNT from Boyka. But Marikar's... Stronger player and probably favorite to win this. However, Boyka with the top spot has every capability to win, I think. He comes in here with a technical, stops the Rebel of Marikar capturing that first oil. And this TNT is probably going to get in. That's very bad news there for Marikar. Personally, what I would have done is gone inside of there, crushed all of them workers, done the TNT there, and you would have got the double. So uh, that's a missed opportunity there from Boyka. Pretty bad, I think. For him to do that, he's probably scared that he'll hit the worker. And his TNT will mess up. But I think that's uh, that's a bad mistake there from Boyka. He could have got the double there and actually won the game. Obviously not feeling confident in his micro, I don't think. Uh, Demetrop has been established there in the front. Toxin Tractor moving in. Demetrop is going to pay off. Kills two RPGs. Explosions all around there. I think Marikar placed the TNT on the building. Complete mess there. <laughs> Yeah, Boyka's attack kind of fumbles. Boyka being the more aggressive. Marikar going for his oils. Boyka not getting the oils just yet. Marikar's rebuilt his uh, arms dealer. And now pushing out and contesting this oil position. Yeah, Boyka not, uh, not wanting to play a longer normal game. Wanting to go more for the aggression. Could have TNT'd that. He could have control fired the ground. But now that technical gets in. Yeah, Boyka, I, I honestly think his level has dropped off. <laughs> <laughs> like quite a lot compared to how it used to be. It's just not as fast anymore. I know this replay is from 2023, but it's just like I, I think he could have already won the game. That that technical shouldn't have got in, and he should have also double TNT'd Marika on that. We'll probably seal him the deal, but uh, now Marika's got himself some oils, establishing some tunnels, and got himself an arms dealer and winning this position. I do doubt whether Boyka will be able to close this out. The momentum at the minute is with Boyka. But let's see what he can do with that momentum. He's going to run straight into a tunnel here. Could walk straight onto a TNT as well. Marikar, a bit slow there with a, with a force fire. I don't know if there's a bit of lag here or not. Between Marikar and Boyka. Another technical coming in for Boyka. Is that a TNT? I think it is. It's got something inside of it for sure. Is a TNT. Is he going to get the double this time? No. Does kill the arms dealer, but only down to the hole. But yeah, he's keeping on the aggression. Boyka now will need to get his oil. He's got a super... Has he got a super tech? No, he hasn't got a super tech. He's also two RPGs there. Marikar now coming in, trying to fend this off. Yeah, but still the momentum is with Boyka. Marikar is producing only from one arms dealer. Boyka turns his attention to kill the quad. Guess that one quad can uh, maybe get himself a super tech. Marikar steals the scrap, though. Marikar harassing around the back. He's actually TNT'd that oil preemptively of uh, Boyka capturing it. Unless Boyka did capture it in those final moments, but I don't think so. Yeah, but Boyka has gained some ground. He's putting the pressure on here, but Marikar's taking this whole right-hand side. Technical here is harassing the workers still. Yeah, a bunch of workers killed there. It's kind of painful there for Marikar. 
I think if Boyka can get rid of these oils, he's in a really good position. But the question is, can he get rid of them oils? TNT comes in from Marikar. It's the supply. Might be able to get himself a super deck of his own here. No, Boyka denies it. I think a few demo traps dotted around for Boyka wouldn't be such a bad idea. Also, getting a tunnel there to protect his oil would be good. But yeah, Boyka shuts down this supply expansion over on the right. Yeah, Grenade Tech might get some scrap here. Depends if Boyka scrap denies this or not. He does not. Yeah, see what I mean? Boyka's a little bit slower. But it's because he's TNT and around the back. Yes, the arms dealer. Yeah, Boyka not messing around with the aggression here. Still doesn't have his oils, though. Still does not have his oils. Yeah, I, get, I just get the impression he doesn't want to play a long macro-y game on a map that suits Marikar. <clears throat> Marikar being a super strong player as well. So he, he just wants to be all out aggressive, gain the advantage that way, and then let the game play out. He's coming in with a TNT on the oil here. TNT there for America wipes out this supply. It's actually fast and ferocious this game. That's some very nice TNT. But so was that though, yeah. That was really good. A lot of Boyka's supplies have been TNT'd actually. Still does not have his oils. America now building up a bit of an army of quads and RPGs. Not massive, but it's uh, maybe more than Boyka has because Boyka's just been so focused on these TNTs for so long, has two quads and a Toxin Tractor out. Boyka will want to get inside of this building, for sure. Super Tech comes in, detonates the explosive barrels and stops the capture there for Boyka. Few RPGs down in the bottom right. Just doing a bit of a scout there for Boyka. Marikar needs to expand again. Over on the right hand side, Super Tech running around is a TNT. Marikar loses his Super Tech. Boyka with a big pop here, but I think. Yeah, Boyka just wins it. Only got one quad left. Both players lost a lot. Boyka still doesn't have his oil up in the top right, but yeah, he's going for this all out aggression, so that's probably to be expected, but. I mean, probably should have it about by now, maybe. At least he has these two on the left. If we look at purely map control. Hmm. Is it kind of even? Kind of even, maybe a little bit more map vision for Marika at the minute. I think a few demo traps dotted around. Wouldn't be such a bad idea. Like, imagine if there's a few demo traps there now, this whole attack would be stopped. But... With that attack coming in. I think that's going to get cleared, isn't it? I don't think Boyka's going to be able to hold that. He's only got like two quads inside of his tunnel. I don't think he's expecting a massive army here. Yeah, there's nothing Boyka can do there. But if he's going for this pure TNT strategy, loads and loads of aggression with TNTs. If he'd have just done a few demo traps dotted around, he could have placed four demo traps there for the cost of $800. Look how much he's floating. That whole attack would have been sent running away. Guaranteed. This map's a very quiet map. There's, like, basically no ambient sounds on it, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, this quad cannon attack continues. I think Boyka's just dead here. He just does not have enough units uh, to combat that. He's got, like, three quads. Can hear something ticking as well, actually. It's the Jarman Kell here. Yeah, the momentum swung too much now. I think Boyka just took too long to get his oils. And he didn't produce enough of an army to stop this army of quads. It's been a pretty cool demo mirror, though, with all the TNTs going off. And the differing strategies. But yeah, I'm pretty sure Marikar has won this one. Demo Rebel Ambush there in the middle. Messes up Boyka's defense. Kills the palace. And as usual, a phenomenal play there from Marikar. There's surely no way Boyka can hold this. He's still making units. Boyka's not even on a palace, I don't think. Anymore. Well, no, he's just he's just lost that palace. Don't know why I expected him to have a second one. I don't. But, uh, yeah, Marikar's already on the demo of an ambush. 
sorry, uh, demo, uh, demo upgrade. Probably Demo Rebel Ambush as well, if he has a CC, which we just saw, actually. It's getting late, isn't it? It's getting late. <laughs> There's my time, by the way. For, uh, nearly 1 a.m. my time in the top left. TNT comes in, but yeah, this is only going one way, isn't it? This is only going one way. Yeah, Demo Trap there. It's going to kill a few quads. Just look. For $200, you killed four quads. They're worth... Uh, what are they? 800 each? The demo, 750. Yeah, my mind's completely gone today. Are they 750 or 800 now? My, my, my mind tonight is going completely blank. I think they're 750, aren't they? But yeah, Boyk is reduced to just a tiny little base here. He's still trying, though, bless him. He's still got two fake arms dealers. But yeah, Marikar's already on markets, so or one market. He's probably got the upgrades. Got worker shoes. Boyker has not got worker shoes. Worker shoes just brings, brings in 10% extra income. For free on all, all the supplies collected. Normally, worker collects $75. With the worker shoes, it brings in $83. It makes up for free those extra eight. Yeah, Boyka just doesn't have enough units out. It's only going one way. Marco just clearing up everything. It was a nice try from Boyka. I just. Uh, I think it could have gone a lot better if it had got that double TNT in the beginning. And if he'd have got his oils a little bit sooner, just literally do those two things. Even if he'd have actually just got the double TNT in the beginning, which I have no idea why he didn't go for it. I think because he has his um, TNTs on uh, retaliation, he's scared of it hitting the worker and blow, uh, wrecking his uh, TNT, stopping it from working. Um, but if it had just turned retaliation off when he got to here, he could have got in and got the double, and that probably could have won in the game. I mean, Marikos still looks super strong in the end. He's got buggies of his own. And Boykia has been defeated. Yeah, GG, well played. Let me know your thought in the comments. A nice, fast, and ferocious demo mirror there. Well played to Marikos. Yeah, the aggression not working out quite for Boykia. GG, well played. I'll see you in the next one.